Hi, A. Suderman here. Um, this was something that I had said I was going to do a while ago. Um, I am going to be posting this on, I'm hoping, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook, my A. Suderman account. So if you're seeing it wherever, it's in multiple places, there's going to be hopefully discussion that can come from this. Uh, just some items that I'm seeing within the world um, that I wanted to just give my own thoughts on and everything. Uh, it just seems like the world's falling apart, which is natural my views and everything but that's a whole other thing um but some just some items i wanted to kind of bring up and to talk of just where my thoughts are uh i know these are touchy subjects and everything but i just kind of feel like i should say something on them um first item just being gender you can be you, you can't expect everyone to agree with you and go along with it um ultimately when it comes to personal um spaces and stuff like bathrooms um sports maybe even uh with that real realistically um you should be with the gender that you physically are uh not really what you're defining yourself as um different people have different backgrounds um for example if a woman's been assaulted in the past she may not mentally be at a place that she's going to want to see a penis or anything in a change room i know that could be you know a bit of a harsh reality or something to be saying um but the fact that everyone's presence is going to have an effect on someone else and just because it might affirm you or it might make someone else feel good does not mean that it is necessarily the right choice to be made um that's it for that i'm really going to be brushing over just a couple of topics i'm not wanting to make this a super long video uh so these are be pretty quick um government um i've heard a lot of people talk about you know even justin trudeau down the states lots of people um, there is no, um, you know, democracy is, you know, the greatest, this is the best time to have been alive. There's a lot of good times to have been alive. Uh, there's a lot of great times. We're not the only, um, we have some of the great stuff. Sure. We have also some of the worst things that come with our society. So it's give and take. Democracy is only as good as the people that you elect into it. You elect bad people in, you get bad at stuff. That goes for both sides of all of them. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot of good candidates. Um, something I've been educating a lot of people on is you can spoil your ballot. If you don't like the people that's in there, spoil your ballot. I think a lot of people, they just vote for whoever's best because they're like, well, at least I'm not, that person's not going to get elected. But I think that if people were really on a hold, were that frustrated, and enough people started spoiling their ballots because they were just so fed up with the bad choices that are being made, that it would send a message to the democracy to the government that we are not happy even if someone got elected i think that it would seriously put in question i'm very curious as to how that would be interpreted if all of a sudden they came even with like a 30 percent um which would be a milestone uh, i've spoiled my ballot a number of times i will say um because i just look at them like nope 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 i i choose none of these these are none of these people will represent me um kingdom style from back in the days you know 2000 plus years ago um even a thousand years ago realistically <coughs> sorry about that um kingdom styles they do work you can see you can see it in israel you can see it in any kingdom style will work those styles only work if your king and their advisors are good people with their minds for the people and the kingdom in mind. All it takes is a little bit of that being out of um, touch and it falls apart very quickly. Um, so honestly, there is no good way of running people. There, there's just, there's not. As long as people are involved, it will always break apart. Same thing with communism. It's actually communism, um, socialism, all that stuff. They all, they all will work. You look at them on paper, they will all work. The problem is that once you put people into it, we're broken. We're bad. There's no future with us at the helm. You give us long enough. Um, the corruption will always find its way in. It's just a matter of time. That's what I see within democracy, what I see within kingdomships, 
A great example is you look at the time with Saul, bad. Uh, I am a Christian, so you know I will, I'm going to use those uh, um, analogies. You got Daniel, that was a great one. Solomon, considered one of the best kings around. But you go after that, it becomes a bit of a train wreck of, to the point where they couldn't even defend themselves um, from that. Um, wages is the next topic I want to bring up. Oh, I shouldn't be touching that. Oh, I have to. Dang it. I apologize. I have a cough. I'm going to try to catch it, but I, I can't promise. So I do apologize if the mic ends up catching it. I'm trying to do by too much at once here. I apologize. This isn't going to work for how I thought it would. But we'll make do. I'll try to edit out that audio a bit, maybe. Um, is a lot of people are requesting more money, making minimum wage higher. Don't. Um, I will speak as someone that's had it happen. It is probably one of the worst things you can do for your economy. Um, I live in BC. We've done it. $15 an hour is your minimum wage. Why? Because we need more money? There's truth behind that. Um, but there's several things that need to be taken into account. The job you're working and um, what, what it is you're expecting. So what I think that needs to happen here is that jobs where they only want people for part-time um so if you're working in a restaurant or something and there's going to be a high turnover and it's a seasonal it's a life seasonal job not just a seasonal time of year but it's a life seasonal job so when you're working in high school you're fresh out of high school when you're working those jobs it's not near as critical for you to um be working in um, getting a big pay. Your costs aren't near as high as they are later in life. So paying those people a lot lower and keeps the product costs lower, I'm for. When you've forced employers that are giving a cheaper object and requires sometimes easier work to be paid more, it ends up costing everyone, including the person that you pay, more because everything that the person's going to go and touch now is going to cost more so if they were making ten dollars an hour and that was a, what a lot of these more temporary style jobs made then it would end up if you're paying them more it everywhere they're going they're having to pay a little bit more if they're paying a little bit less they might be able to buy more items and they're going to be able to take care of themselves on some level a little bit more um it just did and in, in the end if you make the employer have to up their costs, they're going to give themselves a pay raise in there. It's just, that's how they're going to work. Um, there's no fault or blame where you can't be angry at them for that. It's because it, to be angry at them for wanting to give themselves more money is going to be just the same amount of um, uh, you're looking for more money, they will too. Everyone's looking to make sure that they're taken care of. That is a fair request. That's probably going to be the best way I could say it. There's a word I wanted, but I can't quite think of it off the top of my head at the moment. Um, often when people make more money, rather than keeping their cost of living at the same, they're going to live a little bit more extravagantly. Rather than buying this cut of meat, you're going to buy a nicer cut of meat. Uh, rather than going to this restaurant, you're going to go to this nicer restaurant. Rather than going for a vacation one town over, maybe you're going to an all-inclusive. You're going for a flight, uh, stuff like that. Um, uh, jobs need to be set into categories. So like I had said before, a short-term job, keeping their cost, their wage down is actually kind of better because it keeps the cost of those products down. And a lot of day-to-day -day stuff that we use, it, it's not hard stuff and they're good seasonal, life seasonal jobs. Um, but if you're in a longer term job company, this weight it may not be necessarily hey this is great for uh the next 10 years but maybe it's going to be good for the next two years but in that time there's already going to be okay you're going to be learning this you're going to be learning that 
with skills that in that you're going to the next breath and you're going to gain more and you're going to gain more but in years you're going to be able to live off of your wage you've grown you've added to the company you've learned from the company and you can continue to grow into a position um this is also good for the company because sometimes there's people that you're going to hire in a entry level position and they're not necessarily that's it's not that they're going to do a bad job there it's just that they're not going to make um the best input for you um you get them growing and they might take a definitely different path than you thought but they might find out that that's a better fit or you might find that they're not they're going to grow and they're going to learn some more and when they find something they might be able to pull something from where you've started them and then you're going to be able to take them over to something and they'll be able to implement that there that you didn't see and it might have a good impact uh for you um my current job uh people made the joke and i don't find it funny uh i do get it um that they're saying hey let's unionize i have nothing against unions i think that they had their purpose and their time in history I don't know that it's necessarily they're still needed or that they serve the purpose that they advertise as in this day and age. Um, they, it sounds as an easy solution to a problem. You pay someone else, they go, they get you more money. But when you sign on with a union, you're signing on for a lot more. Uh, with a union, you're going to be signed into a contract. You might not be able to progress through a path because the union is going to be able to, is going to want to make sure that certain protocols are being followed. So work becomes a lot more uh, confusing to do. I've got personal experience in it. Um, the more money you might be getting, you might not necessarily be making more. Uh, I worked a job and I'm technically making less now than I did in that job, but I am now working in a private sector. I am making another, sorry, I'm doing quick math here, $500 a paycheck. So $1,000 a month more is coming into my account because of the fact that I'm not paying my union dues. I don't have a lot of those costs all coming off of it. I have the same benefits. Like there's a, there's a lot to it. They're not, I'm not saying, hey, get rid of all unions. I'm sure they serve their purpose in a lot of different places. Um, but you also need to keep in mind that their job is to protect all members. That means that that person that might not be a good person to be hiring, they're going to want to keep them. They're going to try to keep them because they, they have their rights too. So it's a non, they're not going to pick and choose. They can on some level, but it's, it's not necessarily the best for you or for the company. And, as what where is it might be to think you want to focus just as much on protecting the company as yourself because the company as long as you're staying there that's kind of part of your future you want them to thrive that way as they're thriving and they can increase their profits you can also be enjoying some of that um in that that's just how i've kind of gone through life uh and it's treated me well um, the final one I want to talk about, I'm already approaching 13 minutes here. Uh, truth. Truth is truth. Um, that sounds a bit funny to say, um, but for the past while we've been saying, hey, your truth is your truth and my truth is my truth. Well, I'm sorry, but no. Uh, truth is truth. It's regardless. Uh, we look at science and we're saying, well, science is changing. No, science doesn't change. How we read it, understand that's what's changing. I'm going to set this using my hands every so often i apologize okay we don't change science doesn't change our understanding of it changes the sun we used to think spun around us now we realize that we spin around the sun and the sun spins around the milky in the within the milky way and that spins around with the galaxy we're we're constantly looking and thinking and understanding and there is going to be some stuff that's going to be no this was wrong no this was right but it, it doesn't mean that, hey, you can believe this and I can believe that. Because when you do that, there, there is nothing for anyone. You're, you've locked in chaos. And it's going to be good for no one at the end there. Um, the choices we have around us. So examples. Um, 
if I choose, go real simple. If I choose that I'm going to go to a restaurant and I'm going to eat a burger, that's one less burger that someone else would be able to order from that restaurant. There is the chance that if enough people go and they ordered that same item, it would not be available for someone else. In the same way, the choices that we make in our life, whether it's bathroom, whether it's government, parties, jobs, all of it, how you even interact with people, you even having one interaction with one person at work, it does not just pertain to you and that other person. Other people will see it. You will infect that person. You are affecting yourself. When you are affecting one another, it is, or effect or effect, effect. Uh, when you're affecting one another, you're going to be changing how you're going to be interacting with one another. And in doing so, you will change how they're going to now react with the next person. And it's the same with that person to you. You're going to, that's going to change how you are. You can reset so that you can re-begin at some level, but everything that we are interacting with one another on, it's always a change. We are, we are never the same person from one minute to the next. It's always going to be that quick changing thing. Um, this is it. The, um, the choices we make like um, uh, with people quickly uh, has reduced uh, human value. It has not raised it. So basically what I'm saying is that um, when you're moving in with a person, as an example, relationships are moving very quickly. Um, people are looking for that quick relationship, that good feel, and then they're moving on. And it's just, you can see it's at that... People wonder why it is that in the mental health, it's going down, down, down. Because we've turned our back on truth. If you're looking for something meaningful in your life, there's only a handful of things that are going to do that. What you're accomplishing in life, which when you get to older age, it's, that doesn't even really hold. Because um, when you're on your deathbed, you're going to look at your job and be like, well, what? it, it doesn't matter. Um, relationships, one of the few things that will hold. Um, and your faith. Those are two of them. Uh, and then your philosophies in life. Those are some of the few things that can really pull you through a lot of those times in life. Uh, so those are always the things that I would recommend um, to really keep in mind. Um, we're, we're belittling one another to the point where people are not valuing either themselves or one another in a way that's going to help anyone. And that needs to be kept in mind that we, we need to value ourselves and one another. That it means even if you don't agree with what a person says, you need to still let them say what they want to say. And if they want to believe it, as long as no one's being harmed. And that means that, you know, they're not going to be forcing you into theirs. You know, try and live and play nice with one another is really the best way they can say it. Um, that's kind of all that I was going to say for now. Uh, we're coming up on 20 minutes, which is great. Um, where did my mouse go? There it is. Awesome. Um, I'm going to try to edit this a little bit, clean it up, but thank you so much uh, for anyone who listens to this. Um, I'm more than willing to, uh, engage and discuss with people, uh, hear other thoughts and everything on this. Uh, this isn't like a final, like, Hey, this is it and everything. Um, I might add it, add to it every once in a while, get better at doing this. Uh, this is kind of my first time doing something like this, but it was something I wanted to kind of talk about. Um, just seeing a lot of what's happening within the world. It's, it sucks. Um, honestly, I put the world on an egg timer a level because um, the amount that people are so interested in themselves and don't sacrifice for one another, uh, it, it's truly disheartening. Uh, I try to help people when I can. Unfortunately, I can only do so much. Uh, but have a good day.